What's good, Woo Crew? Kale Woo TV back with another video. And this video is partnered with Soccer Bee. They actually just sent me the package I got in the mail. Soccer Bee is actually based in South Korea, as you can see where the packaging's from. I'm going to tell you all about their company and what their product is in a second, and then we're going to head to the field in a bit. Nicely packaged. And most importantly, we got the Soccer Bee Pod. Here's the charger, and here's the Soccer Bee Pod. Here's the top they sent me. And this is where you put the Soccer Bee Pod right in the back. Soccer Bee wanted me to do an honest review, so before we get onto the pitch, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown. Soccer Bee uses cutting edge GPS sensors to track player movements during the game. So while you're out there on the pitch, it'll show you your distance runs, total sprints, sprint speed, average speed, and a bunch of other stats that you can see through the Soccer Bee app. Just search up Soccer Bee, and it is this app, Soccer Bee Lineup Builder. Go download that. So turn on your Soccer Bee pod. Then you're gonna have to register. Click register. You sure you wanna register the device? Yes. The pod has successfully been registered. Let's start playing. To turn off the Soccer Bee Pod, you basically just hold down the button for five seconds. Also in the packaging, they give you a waterproof pack so you can put your Soccer Bee Pod in there if it is raining so it doesn't get damaged. And you should be all set. Soccer Bee Pod's in there. And lastly, basically to charge the pod, it's pretty simple. Just open this at the bottom and you should be all set. All right, I'll catch you at the field. Seven. Testing out the pot right now, playing on one half of the field, but I'm gonna show you how you set this up. Pretty simple, all you do is turn it on. It's standalone, so you don't have to use the app until after. This thing lasts 13 hours, so that's like six full 90s. Hold down the pot for about three seconds. Green light turns on, blue light turns on, and you just put it in the back pouch, make sure it's facing up. and it starts tracking. Alright, so after you're done with your training session or scrimmage or game, you just hold it down for three more seconds. You go to the Soccer Bee app. Once you get to the app, you click this middle button, sync single pod. After you sync the pod, you turn it on. There's the session 118 to 234, you hit start sync. It takes about two minutes. Alright, after the sync's done, it automatically puts in the duration. Choose the number of sessions that you did. Click save, set analysis area. We we're using just this part of the field, so if I select just this part of the field, it'll readjust what part was the middle of the field, name the field, click analysis. After you finish the analysis, it'll tell you total distance you ran, top speed, total sprints. Obviously we're playing small sided, so it won't be as many as the actual game. Sprint distance, average speed, 
and then if you zoom over this, it'll show you where the middle of the field is. Yeah, it's like Obviously, that. it's going to look Especially readjusted here. Okay, so this was in our first game this spring, and this is the first time I used the soccer bee pod in a real game. At the end of the game, all I did was turned off the pod. It was really simple, and then downloaded the data. It took me about five minutes. Now I'm going to show you the heat map and I traveled 6.2 miles. And lastly, they give you a match rating based on their algorithms. Hey. These training pods are definitely the future for soccer. And I'm gonna drop all the links in the description below, but definitely recommend if you're trying to improve your training, know how hard you're training. Very simple, very effective. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, if you get a pod, you can hit me up in the DMs or in the comments. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video. Stay true, Woo Crew. Just what? Peace. Yeah, I think he has a